vertebrates and invertebrates. Animals can be divided into two main groups, vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates are animals with backbones. They can be classified according to their features and include fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Fish are vertebrates. The yellow tank, trigger fish, bat fish, angel fish, and carp are examples of fish. Here are their common characteristics. Some fish live in salt water and some fish live in fresh water. Fish can be found in lakes, ponds, rivers, and seas. The bodies of most fish are covered with scales. Fish have gills, gill covers, and fins. The fins help them swim. Gills are found under the gill cover. Fish breathe in water, using their gills to help them most of fish, such as the carp and the angelfish, reproduce by laying eggs. The guppy is special fish that gives birth to its young. Amphibians Amphibians are vertebrates. Salamanders and frogs are examples of amphibians. Here are their common characteristics. Amphibians can live both on land and in water. The skin of amphibians is always scalped moist. They do not have scales, feathers, or hair. Amphibians have body structures that allow them to move about on land as well as in water. Amphibians are cold-blooded animals. The body temperature of an amphibian changes with its environment. Adult amphibians breathe through their skins and lungs. Amphibians lay their egg in water. The young of amphibians look like small fish and live in water. They breathe through their gills. Reptiles are vertebrates. Lizards, tortoises, and snakes are examples of reptiles. Here are their common characteristics. Reptiles can be found both on land and in water. The bodies of reptiles are dry and covered with scales. Tortoises Turtles and terrapins belong to a special group of reptiles that do not have their body covered in scales. Their bodies are protected by a hard shell. Most reptiles walk on four legs. Some reptiles such as snakes do not have legs. Reptiles are cold-blooded animals. Reptiles breathe through their lungs. 
Most reptiles lay eggs with hard shells. Their young hatch from eggs when they are fully formed and take care of themselves from the time they hatch. Birds are vertebrates. Pelicans, geese, robins, and ducks are examples of birds. Here are their common characteristics. Birds can be found in a wide variety of places. Some birds live in cold places, while others live in warmer places. Birds are the only animals with feathers. The feathers of birds help it fly. However, not all birds can fly. All birds have a beak, two wings, and two legs. Birds breathe using their lungs. Birds reproduce by laying eggs. Each egg is protected by a hard shell. Mammals are vertebrates. Zebras, giraffes, and antelopes are examples of mammals. Here are their common characteristics. Mammals can be found in a wide variety of places. Some mammals live in cold places, while others live in warmer places. Mammals can be found on land and underwater. Mammals are the only animals with hair on their bodies. Most mammals walk on four legs. Some mammals, such as bats, fly. Other mammals, such as dolphins and whales, have fist-like shapes. Mammals breathe using their lungs. Most mammals give birth to their young. Mammals suckle their young. The babies of mammals feed on their mother's milk. Invertebrates are animals without backbones. They include annelids, nematodes, mollusks, and arthropods. Annelids are segmented worms with soft bodies. Most of the worm's body consists of identical segments, giving it a ring appearance. Nematodes are tiny thin worms without segments. Many species are free living but others are parasites that cause disease. For example, hookworms can infect humans. Mollusks usually have a broad muscular foot and may also have a shell. Examples of mollusks include snails, slugs, squids, and octopuses. Arthropods are an important pylon of invertebrates. They have a hard exoskeleton. Their skeleton is on the outside rather than on the inside. A segmented body. Their body has different sections. Jointed legs. That's all the science lesson for today. Thank you.